Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is the Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your person, first of all, deeply desires you. Okay, not in a desirable way, but in an emotional way. This person has a lot of love for you, a lot of deep emotions for you. At the same time, you know this person does have a lot of love for you, but uh, you could have offered them, uh, made them an offer, or asked them to probably marry you, or you would want a long term with them, or you want a commitment with them. In their feelings, they do love you very, very much. But at the same time, here they're not making any decision, but they're choosing to deeply, emotionally think about the offer that you've made to them. Okay, they're constantly thinking about you. This person, if you've broken up, they want a reconciliation with you. This is like a rebirth of a connection. Okay, they want you back. They want things back. They're keeping an eye on you at the same time here, but yes, they do want to get back to you. They want a reconciliation with you. Okay, they want a reunion with you. They want to celebrate. Uh, if you're with this person out here, I feel probably if the uh, if there's been uh, a lack of spark in your connection here, then this person wants to bring, uh, has had a lot of realizations, a lot of awakening, okay, about what's really going on in this connection here, and this person wants to bring everything back. It's like they kind of realize that they fucked up, or whatever negative patterns they were holding on to, right, they're releasing all of that here. This person is definitely keeping an eye on you. Now this, whether you're talking to them or uh, whether you block them out or whatever, they're finding a way to kind of keep an eye on you here. They're keeping all information and tags on you. The steps could also be probably asking your common friends, you know, they're probably outside your house. Or uh, they're trying to have fake accounts and keep an eye on your account or whatever it is, right? But they're definitely wanting to get more information about you. There is delayed communication here, okay? So this is like they want to communicate with you, but they're thinking about an idea, okay? They're using their logic right now. And uh, yeah, very emotional right now about you. But they do want a reconciliation and a reunion with you. They want to celebrate with you, okay? Dude, they're so, 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 so attractive to you, okay? This person here, first of all, with the Queen of Wands here, this person is so attracted to you, okay? They think you're badass, you know, they desire you and you're so attractive to them. I think you're in a mode where you're not chasing them at all, okay? They're very, very they see you as very confident, very confident in your power. You could be pursuing your hobby, your passion, but it's more like, you know what, there's a lot of self-love coming from your side. Okay, which is attracting this person even more. Okay, which is why now they want to put in the work here. This person wants to put in the work into this connection. So earlier, I think they were very detached emotionally. They were neglecting this connection. Uh, probably they weren't putting in the work on this. Okay, but now they're working on themselves, trying to uh, you know make a better version of them of themselves in order to work on this connection indirectly. Okay, they're ready to put in that hard work here. With the Ten of Wands here, I feel that there's a lot of burdens here, a lot of responsibilities that this person still has, okay, on their plate. The Ten of Wands can be a lot of burdens, but this can be emotional burdens too. So I feel that there is probably no communication between you both, which is becoming like too much for them, okay. Maybe this person thought you'll come back around. Maybe this person thought you'll contact them, you know. Maybe this person thought you'll reach out to them or, you know, you'll make some move, but there is no move from your side. And now with the Knight of Swords here, dude, they're rushing in. They're rushing in here, okay? This person here is like, I can't wait. This person's got no chill. And uh, whatever communication, this is communication could cause a lot of conflict between you both here. But it's more like, you know what? They message you and you say something back and they're like, what do you mean? What did you do? You didn't reach out to me too. So what are you expecting from me? Blah, blah, blah. But yes, with the Queen of Wands here, I do see them as seeing you as very, very, um, you're in that confident state of mind, okay? Confident state of mind that you don't give a rat's ass to this person out here, which is making this person come rushing towards you here. Let's clarify. Uh, what's the Knight of Swords? <laughs> Again, huh? Same sneaky shit with the Seven of Swords here. Now, Seven of Swords is not always a bad energy, right? It can be someone who's in stealth mode, someone who's just trying to sneak back into your life, someone who has a new approach towards this situation here. But yes, because it's something sneaky, it's like, uh, yeah, their intentions are not uh, yet open, okay? They're still not telling you what their intentions are. But clearly, their intentions are to just come in and create a fight. So probably that means they can come in towards you because we clearly see that this person does have a lot of love for you. Ten of Wands, what's that? Ah, see, holding back from you is causing so much of burden from them. How funny. They want to create their own stress. This is self-inflicted, guys. This is nothing to do with you. Don't worry. Don't, don't feel guilty. 
if you're not talking to them don't feel guilty if you're moving on don't feel guilty if you're holding back from them okay but this holding back taming the situation is too much for them okay or holding back from you is becoming too much of a burden from them but uh well it's their choice right it's their choice they make a choice to hold back so that's why it's a stress if they make a choice of uh, putting in the hard work and not copping out of hard work and not uh, being a coward then probably it wouldn't have been so much of a stress for them eight of pentacles what's that yeah see now this person wants to work it in this connection here but this time around here i think this person here is being very very straightforward very blunt this person could come off as very blunt towards you okay in their communication skills but this is definitely someone here who means well okay who means well in a way not in a way where uh, they care about you this is someone very empathetic okay but someone who wants to just uh, handle things very very logically very logically okay this could be someone here who's um, like i said right uh, uh what do i say this is someone who snaps okay they're they're snappy but they're giving very deadly and straightforward this time around here and guess what they're gonna put in that work they're gonna put in that work which is why they're like feeling so confident about coming towards you so uh this could be somebody who has a sharp tongue here okay but they're gonna be very truthful all right and uh very protective could come off as very very cold but they're making a very heart over head decision here okay Let's see. Will there be communication? Will there be um, Will there be communication between? Dude, wait. Wow. Look, what fell off? There are chances this person is coming in with commitment, you know, and it's more hidden. The person is coming towards you with commitment. This person is coming towards you with something long term here. But whatever this is, right? It's all under wraps. It's all under wraps. This person is not telling you what their real intentions are. That's why. See, that's why the Seven of Swords here, because the Knight of Swords is arrival of something. unexpectedly out of the blue which is going to be a huge opportunity here which is by this time around this person here is thinking of um being very straightforward towards you okay and they're wanting to look at the future with you but uh wow 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 scorpio commitment coming in long term coming in this person wants to marry you okay i think they made they made up their mind okay but there is definitely a uh, commitment coming in stability coming in security coming in i feel this is long term here scorpios if you have wanted you have been wanting a commitment from someone all this while and they were ignoring it they were running away from it guess what you're getting that this time okay so it's a general reading guys don't come cut my head off if it doesn't work out for you okay maybe in the next time but yeah so that's a great reading good luck reading good luck